The following video will show you how to use the enhanced parameter mode of the CS580 radio, which allows you to change any of the channel parameters from the front panel so that if you go into an area where there's a repeater that has a different frequency, color code, or time slot, you can very quickly set it up to be able to work on that repeater. In this video, we're going to be showing you the enhanced parameters mode of the CS580. And as we explained in the in introduction, the enhanced parameters mode is extremely versatile because it allows you to change virtually every aspect of a channel configuration from the front panel of the radio. To access the uh, enhanced parameters mode, you do need to set up a side button, program a side button to activate it. In our particular case, this radio is set up so that the uh, a short press on the top button will bring up the enhanced parameters mode. Now as you can see right now it's set on uh, channel 1 which is the SNARS uh, talk group and uh, set up for simplex and I'm going to use the other radio and I'm just going to transmit into there to show that it's it's uh, still doing its job. N6 AFV 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the transmitting radio and I'm going to change it to a channel that goes to a local repeater on the Mountain West talk group. Well, you can see whenever I key up, nothing happens to the CS580. So I want to be able to use that particular repeater combination and I don't have a computer to program the radio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Enhanced Parameters mode. I can. So now you can see we have the color code, the slot number, it'll be one or two, the group type, or the I'm sorry, the contact type, which in this case is set for group, and the transmit contact on this channel happens to be SNARS. However, we can change all that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color code to 3 because that is what the repeater expects to see. The slot is 1. The type is group call. Now you can also put in a private call or you can put in an all call depending on how you want to do that. Um, in this case, I want to leave it on group call. I'm going to move it down to the transmit contact area. Now you notice I have some groups in here. I already have SNARS, SNARS 2, TAC 310, North America, Nevada in there, but I want to put in a new talk group. So I'm just going to type the number in 3, 1, 0, 6, 2. And that is the Mountain West talk group. I'm going to bring down here to the, now this is a transmit frequency, and in this case it's going to be 447.475, and you don't need to put the decimal in, the radio will do it automatically. And the receive frequency will be 442.475. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the lock button, because that locks the um, setting into the radio. So let's give this a try. N6 AFV. V. Testing. Testing. One, two, one, two, three. Well, we were obviously successful because we heard the repeater on that talk group. Now, an interesting thing that I, that I discovered is if you press the back button, it'll still say SNARS for the talk group, but it will show the transmit and receive frequencies correctly. However, the top group is still the 31062. So when I transmit here, N6 AFV testing, you'll see that it still receives that top group. Now if I press the um, enhanced parameters button again, and go back, you'll see that it's still set up the way that we want it. The only way to get back to the normal channel is to turn the channel knob to a different channel and then if you return to the original one it'll show what the radio was originally programmed with. 
Now, unfortunately, the information that you put in under enhanced parameters won't stay in the radio. Once you turn the power off, it will revert back to whatever the pre-stored information is. But if you're traveling or you're in an area where you know that there's a repeater you want to access and you have the repeater information, it's a nice way to add in that repeater combination, that talk group. And if that talk group isn't active, you can go back and change the talk group using the same uh, process and until you find one that works or you can use the enhanced monitor mode which we're going to talk about next to see what talk groups are active on the repeaters. Anyhow, um, that's just another feature of the CS580 that makes it a really nice little radio in stock form and uh, hopefully you'll be able to um, use this to enhance your use of the radio. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and if you'd like to get updates whenever new videos are posted, please subscribe to the channel. And whenever I pop something new on there, you'll get an email that tells you that it's available to watch. 73 from Dave, N6AFB.